What's up, Bells Up Studio, and welcome to today's 20-minute set. It's a little bit of strength and conditioning with two kettlebells. You wanna make sure that you select kettlebells that you can push press double for at least eight reps. This could also be a dumbbell friendly class for some of the moves. You have the option to double kettlebell swing today too. So make sure your weights kind of fit for all of those different things. You can always have multiple sets of bells for these classes, but it is possible to get through this class with a nice moderate set of bells and get it all done with just a little bit of equipment. We're gonna go through a two minute warm up where you will need one of your bells. We're gonna work overhead a little bit and just some power and squat patterns before we get into squatting and pushing. You have some fun intervals today. I don't know that the first one's going to be so fun, but as they go through the class, you'll see what I mean. They change a little and they'll get a little more fun. We're building on the same sequence, just some different time frames, which means some of them are higher rep than others. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You have two minutes on the clock and we're just going to go through, we're going to try to get through about two to three cycles of this together. So let's go ahead and start it out. We'll go three, two, and one. Stand over your kettlebell, so it's right under you. We're gonna goblet clean and then take a squat. So we're gonna bring it up to our chest and then sit down into a nice easy squat. Stand up, bring it back to the floor. So this should feel like a warm up. You don't have to be a hero here. I want you to try to hit five reps on your own. So this is three for me right here. If you're not quite at my speed, that's okay. You're always gonna be doing five reps through the two movements that we have in this warm up. I have one more to go. This has taken me just about 30 seconds, all the way down, all the way up. Your next move is five overhead marches in a contralateral format. So that means bell is on one side, opposite leg will march. I'm gonna bring mine up with a snatch. You can pick it up however works best for you. So once you get into that, um, into this position, the bell overhead, we're gonna push down that bell side and the other leg is going to march four or five strong reps, lifting up the knee, flexing the foot, trying to keep a really um, strong grip on the bell with a lockout. I'm gonna drop it and then just switch and come up through a snatch. Those of you that know how to snatch, it's an awesome transition tool when you're moving through different patterns. So right about here, we have 45 seconds left. So you might not make it through a full two rounds. I've been going a little bit slow here. Maybe you're going a little bit faster. Feel free to take just a few goblet clean to squats if you wanna get in another set of those overhead marches. We'll go three, two, and one in the goblet clean to squat. You could also try a few where you clean drop into your squat and then stand up. I'm gonna take that third one here. I think I'm actually just gonna finish this whole interval with my goblet clean to squat. If your overhead was feeling a little shaky, maybe take a few more marches each side and you can do that while I'm explaining to you what's coming up in our intervals. Warm up is over in five, four, three, two, and one. For our first set of intervals today, we're gonna to be working at a 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off situation just for one round. You're gonna start with 60 seconds of double rack squats. So this is gonna be a high rep count squat set. You can set the bells down as many times as you need to, but I want you to try to keep squatting if you can for that entire 60 seconds, even if that means setting them down, taking a break. Most of us, including me, are probably not gonna be squatting for 60 seconds straight. You can go for eight to 10 reps, consecutively set them down and then just try as many as you can after that until the interval finishes. Your second movement is double push presses. Those weights again should be based on the double push press. So your squat shouldn't feel super heavy unless you have multiple sets of bells and you wanna go to that, that place. But make sure that you have two bells that you feel good going overhead with for at least six reps in a row. You're gonna set the bells down, try to do again as many as you can in 60 seconds. You can always rest early if you need to. After that, we're gonna go a single racked squat to a push press. So there's a little bit of like, we're gonna still be getting the body warm with this set. Again, it shouldn't feel too strenuous. There is a lot of overhead, but when we get to our next sets, there's gonna be one additional thing added, which is double kettlebell swings or hand-to-hand -hand swings. And we're gonna keep moving through our sets in a very similar pattern, but changing up that squat to push press into a squat to strict press. So you'll see how that looks. The cool thing is when we get to the second round, your work ratio goes down to 40 seconds, but your rest goes down to 20, so a little less rest. And then we're gonna finish with the same exact thing, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So this is how we're gonna get it rolling. Um, 
for your first set. And you're, by the way, you're only doing all of this one time. One time through all of it until we get into those rest breaks and that little change up in the last two rounds with the intervals and that extra movement. We're gonna start this in about 15 seconds. I'm gonna have you try as many double rack squats as you can in that 60 second interval. Get ready. It might feel challenging just to hold them. Again, try to take them in maybe sets of eight, maybe 10 before setting them down the first time. Let's go ahead and get after it. Clock is on here. Three, two, and one. As always, if you like to elevate your heels in your squats, you can go for that. But we're just trying to take some solid reps here. These do not have to be super fast. We're going for a bit more in volume. So if that means you wanna hang at the top for a second, you wanna take these a little bit slower just to make it through the interval. Uh, for context, right about now you're hitting 30 seconds. Try to keep your chest up. Try to keep holding onto the bells. And if you physically can't squat anymore, you could set the bells down, take one to your chest, and go for goblet squats. You can still keep moving through this interval. So if I was doing that, I would set my bells down, hold them here, and then take myself down and up just like I did in the warm up. Try to hang on for the 60 seconds. Because you're only doing this once, you get a 30 second break after. 10 more seconds to finish out these squats really strong. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. So 30 seconds to rest. We're gonna take a lighter set of bells or those same bells for double push presses. I want you to work on finishing these at the top, pulling them down. Finishing at the top, pulling them down. So that means you're giving yourself maybe a one to two second hold at the top. They should feel kind of heavy because there's two. We haven't done a lot of doubles in our 20 minute series. So this is a nice, I guess, wake up call of what that feels like. Let's go ahead, pick them up. Three, two, and one. So again, these should not feel so heavy that you feel completely gassed. We're gonna be doing these again in the later sets of this, um, program or this uh, session. So you want to make sure these belts feel good. This is kind of your test run to see how's this overhead position feel? Can I hold them up here and keep my shoulders over my hips and not flare my rib cage out? We don't want to be coming up and shooting our head through and sticking our butt out like this. We want to finish nice and tall in these. Okay, guys, a little bit more. You have 30 seconds here. Again, if you get stuck, I want you to just take a break. I'd rather you set them down and take more of a rest break and then get in a few more reps if you're feeling like you can. So 10 more seconds, even though I set my bells down here, I could pick them up again, maybe take two or three more reps. I want you to stay in this one for the entirety of the interval if you can. Three, two, and one, very good. So the last part of this kind of like second part of our warm up is taking a single rack squat to a press. Some of you might um, have done these before and they're called thrusters in some areas, some places, some people. Um, we're gonna squat with the bell and then as we stand, push it overhead. So we're kind of combining the up part of the squat with your push press. Your heels can come off the floor if that naturally happens for you. You can also keep them down on the floor. We're gonna start your first side here. Pick left or right, we'll go three, two, and one. So if you need to follow along, do it with me. I'm gonna come down into my single squat and then push as I stand up, pull my bell down. Squat, so I'm using that power from my lower body to help lift the bell. So this should not, again, feel heavy. I don't want you to drop down back into the squat from here. You're gonna pull the bell back to the rack, sit, and then extend. Glutes should be tight at the top. Push your heels into the ground as you do this, and try to stay nice and tall through the entirety of this set. Remember, these minute intervals are long, but you only have one time through this one. This is gonna be your last set on your other side. Try to stick with this one. It's a lot of time under tension with your kettlebell. If your wrist is feeling it a little bit, that's a good sign that you can set it down and shake it out. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, bell comes down. Let's shake it out for 30 seconds and then finish up that second side. Good news is when we get to our next intervals, our intervals are going down just a little bit in time, but our rest interval is also going down just a little bit in time. And we're gonna add some ballistics to the mix here, change up this push press into a strict press. So instead of squatting and using the momentum, we're not getting that next round. Here we go, final side, three, 
two and one. So I guess I should say sort of enjoy this now because it's a little bit of an assist for your press. If you're working on your eccentric strength, so pulling it down here, you can go a little slow there. So I care about explosive and fast here. You can pull it down a little bit to reduce some of the reps in this set. I do not care if your rep counts are even in this set. They can be totally different. We're using this part as a warm-up still to get your upper body feeling good before we go into these double press sets and whatnot. You also might go to a heavier set of bells if these ones felt super easy for you. Only if it feels like you're barely doing anything through this 60 second set because this does take a lot of work here. 10 seconds, you're gonna set your bell down and then we're gonna take one minute rest. You've got five, four, three, two, one, Bells come down. 60 second rest break has officially started and we're gonna change up the scenario a little bit. Your new work ratio is 40 seconds on to 20 seconds off. So it's that half, it's like your two to one here. So when we do this, you're gonna start with your double rack squat. You're gonna do your push press. Then we're gonna go into our double kettlebell swings, if you know how to do those, or hand-to-hand -hand swings, which have showed up on this program before. I'm gonna coach you through the hand-to-hand -hand doubles. You're on your own for this one. You have to know how to do those to try these today. If you have one big bell with you, you can always do two hand swings to substitute here. Then we're gonna take our single rack squat to a strict press. We're doing this one time through, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So the only thing really changing is that strict press, so no momentum. We're gonna stand fully, then press, and adding these double swings. I am here to help you through the rest. Your one minute interval is just about done for your rest. Let's go ahead, pick up our bells for 40 seconds on rack squats. Three, two, and one. So you have less time with your bells this time. So you're gonna get fewer reps. And maybe this is the set where you're like, I'm gonna try to hold these bells for the entirety of this set. You're already about halfway through this um, interval, but when we get past this, you only have those 20 seconds to rest and recover from this rack position. So use that time wisely. If you need a little extra break, this is your 30 second mark. I would advise stopping here and taking that. You've got five, four, Three, two, step out. Let's set the bells down gently onto the floor. Okay, push presses whew, are coming up next. It's normal for you to feel winded in these sets because that weight is on your chest versus out here, like if we had dumbbells or a barbell. When you're hugging it in close, it gets hard real quick. Double push presses here, let's go for it. Three, two, and one. If those doubles were too much for you last time, you can hold one bell at your chest and practice this push press motion, holding the bell by the horns, goblet style. So you would be here, bend, push overhead. That is the place that you go. If you're feeling like you don't have full control over your body and over your lockout position in this one. Final 10 seconds in these push press sets. And then we go to your swings or hand to hand swings. I do not expect you to do this the whole time. So I recommend maybe taking these swings in sets of six to 10, setting them down. You're resting three, two, and one, and then reconvening for more swings if you have it in you. Remember your heart rate's gonna be up here. This is a little bit of strength and conditioning. Hand to hand, I'm gonna work with you guys. Double swings, I'll hit you guys up on the next set. Okay, here we go. Clock is on, three, two, and one. So remember hand to hand, you're gonna grab it with one hand, single arm swing, and then just switch your other hand at the top. So this one, if your bell is light, you actually probably could go the entirety of this 40 seconds with your hand to hand, but I would still say eight to 10 reps, and then just give your bell a little park, shake your legs out for context right here. You have just about 10 seconds left, so I could pick the bell up again. If you are starting again, I want a clean start from you guys. There's no like set it down and then kind of flub getting it up. You gotta commit to it and make that first swing your best. Three, two, and one. So that one's over. We have single rack squat to strict press on one side. Pick the side you wanna start with. You'll do the opposite side the next round. Remember, we're standing tall, squeezing our booties and pressing instead of using our lower body to help us this time. Three, 
two, and one. So bell will come up. I'm gonna sit in that squat with tension. Notice my other hand is tight. And then I'll take my strict press here. Breathe in again. Push down. Lift the bell up. So this is your pace here. These can be slow and methodical, or you can go a little bit faster. I just don't want you to do the bend and press and try to get that weight up. If you hit your maximum with your strict presses, bell comes down, we take a break. All of our weights might be different here. So some of you, if it's a little too heavy, you're gonna wanna set it down and rest. Three, two, and one, other side. And then we take another 60 second reprieve before we do this whole thing one more time, but our interval goes down and our rest break goes up. Look at that to finish. A little gift at the end here. Okay, here we go, other side. Three, two, and one. So I clean, hit my strong squat, squeeze my butt, press, pull that bell down. Strong squat, squeeze my butt, press, pull the bell down. You can also leave your hand out here. I like mine in the front, just as a reminder to keep my chest open in the front squat, but you could also squeeze it there and take your press. I see people do that a lot. And it is kind of a, a nice technique. You really can't, you can't like flub it when your hand is there, it feels really powerful. Last 10 seconds here before you get a full 60 second rest. You've got three, Two, and bells come Full down. minute rest is on. We just have one more round of this to go and you get a little longer of a rest break, but I'm gonna challenge you to kind of pump the speed up of your movements a little bit. Maybe not set your bells down this time because you only have a 30 second interval, 30 second working interval. So we're at that one to one rest ratio now. We're gonna recover and try to get our heart rate down from that last set so you really feel like you can move through the final few minutes of this class. We have five minutes left until you've completed your 20 minute set for today. And this one is like a, I don't know, I feel like you look at the program and you're like, oh, there's kind of a lot of words on there. There's not a lot of movements, but it looks a little complicated. And then when you do it, when you do it, you realize, wow, this is a lot packed into this small little program here. So let's go ahead, get ready for our final set, guys. One round, 30 on, 30 off. Three, two, and one. Rack squats are coming up. I'm personally kind of excited to be finishing up with the squats here. We've been doing squats. If you're following along in the classes that this program follows on the first day of the new week. So it's usually a squat and a push variation here. And I still feel like I squat a lot, but who doesn't love a squat? Let's be real. We'll go three, two, and one. Really painless there. That was like nice and easy. What a breeze compared to that 60 second interval. Okay, double push presses are coming up. Full extension here. If you need to go to your one bell, go for it. Practice that position. And we're gonna try again to not let this happen. We wanna be shoulder stacked over our hips in our movements. Whew, okay, 10 seconds. Let's start this out with a really nice and textbook clean. Bells come up in three, two, and one. So I'm taking a little time down here, keeping my hips low, not wasting energy, lifting them with my arms, moving my feet in just a little bit so they're right under my hips, giving me a strong stable base to become this column at the top. I like to imagine once I get here, my arms are doing nothing until they're holding the bells here. I'm keeping my chin relaxed, my eye gaze forward. You've got five, four, three, two. Step out, bring your kettlebells down to the floor. Take a little break, guys. 30 seconds, we go into our swings or our hand-to-hand -hand swings. Take your swing variation of choice, uh, double swings. I'm gonna vouch for that hammer grip, keeping your hands in to keep your bells a little closer and really improve your grip in these ones. You could decide to take 10, set them down, maybe take another five if you're going that direction. Hand to hand, you definitely could do this one for the entirety of the 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and start it out. Three, two, and one. So my trick with the doubles is to keep my feet just on the outside of the bells. I don't wanna to be too wide or too narrow. I'm gonna flip them on their sides, get a nice strong grip, feel my lats here, and then try to think of them just moving 
with the momentum of your hips, keeping that strong connection to your lats so you don't get that type of thing happening. If they're giving each other a little kiss there, you're just loose here. Three, two, and one. The best way to get good at those is to get good at control in your single arm swings. Two minutes left in this set today. We have your single rack squat to strict press. You can go ahead and get rid of that second kettlebell. Make sure your area is clean, is clear, is ready to finish out our final few minutes of our class. These 20 minute classes, man, they're a little burners. I, I, every time I do them, and I always say this, I'm not fully doing them with you guys because I probably would use a little bit bigger weight here. Let's go three, two, and one. So if I was doing this with my normal weight and not my on-camera teaching weight, holy shit, I don't think I could even talk through this class. And still, even with my smaller weight, it's hard to do all those things at once. Whew, squeeze that booty nice and tight. We wanna take a breath in as we go down. Inhale through the nose, push through the floor, come up. Butt should stay tight as you press. You're here for three, two, and one. Those of you working on tension in presses, I love this combination of having a single rack squat before the press, because if you're really squatting well, when you stand up, you've already got that tension here and in your legs to facilitate the press. So it sort of forces you into making tension. If you're someone that kind of forgets to do that or is just learning how to get tight before trying to move the weight up, which makes it so much safer and easier to do. Three, two, and one, your last set here. So imagine that now we sit, squat, stand, keep that tension, and then press. Notice how much easier your press feels when you're conscious of that. Remember, you can look up at your bell as you do this. You have 10 more seconds, so this is enough time to get one to two more solid reps. I want you to try to shoot for two if you can. Try to finish this out strong. You're almost done, and it's a short class today. You've got three, two, and one. Bells Up Studio, it is always a pleasure to be here with you guys. Um, I know we're not in the same room together, but I feel like you're all with me every single time, and I hope you guys enjoyed this set today. Remember, Bring a few bells, get real, get strong, and get those bells up. I will see you guys in another class very soon. Bye.